this is a really in-depth explanation of how the Facebook pixel works, which no other gurus understand. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be dropping another banger. So we got a question from Moses. Hi Andy, congrats on the results. Thank you. Just one question. Are you running those campaigns in a general store or a niche store? So I answered that in the last two videos. If you should run a general or niche store, so check that out if you haven't. Did you run those campaigns in a single ad account with a pixel or running multiple ad accounts with multiple pixels? So that's going to be the topic of today's video. Whether you should run one pixel for all your ad accounts or have multiple pixels for multiple products and multiple ad accounts. So let's get started. So we're going to go through two examples, multiple pixels. So you have added account A, B and C, each one having their own winning product and their own pixel. So we have a hair wax, face mask, teeth whitening and kit. Say for A, we have these three purchases, John, Bob, Carly. Face mask, we have two purchases. Teeth whitening, we have three. Obviously, the numbers aren't going to be this small. You're going to have one pixel for winning product. So that means it must have at least 50 purchase data. So this is like a smaller scale example because I can't really write out 50 names for you. So let's see the pro of having this. A more concentrated group of buyers for that one product, which is correct. Bob, John Bob Carly hold traits of people who are willing to buy hair colored wax. Whereas Heath and Beth hold traits of people willing to buy face masks. So John Bob Carly have the traits someone who's most likely to buy hair colouring wax. And as a result, Pixel A would have a more concentrated group of buyers because they know that the buyers are John, Bob and Carly and they'll be able to look for similar people. Now the cons. It takes time to create a pixel for every winning product. Making a pixel and installing it, for me, will take half an hour. Maybe after you do it three, four, five, six times, it might shorten and get faster, but it takes time to install a pixel for every single product. Another con, your Facebook business manager has a limited amount of pixels. Another con, you have less buyer data. Pixel A only has buyer data from three people, so that's much less, and therefore it will be harder to find similar people that have similar traits to a person who would purchase health products. So now next example, a single pixel, where you have a single pixel for all your ad accounts and all your winning products. So all products, all the data will be put into one. So now we have eight people all in one pixel. So the pros are it saves time, simple and easy just to have one pixel. And another pro is there's more purchase data. Having eight people together is much better than only having three people per pixel. Now the con, it's a lesser quality type of data. I mean, if you had eight purchases from one general pixel versus eight purchases for a hair coloring wax, if you were to sell a hair coloring wax, the individual pixel would do much, much better and will be able to find you more purchases. Now, I'm going to go through an example that breaks down which would be better. As you can see already, I'm providing a lot of content that YouTubers out there that are dropping courses don't really understand. So it really pisses me off when they drop a course after finding success on Instagram ads. In order to actually succeed in dropshipping in the long term, you want to understand these things. So that's my goal, to allow you guys to understand these little things. So here's an example that will probably make things really clear for you guys if you don't already understand which one might be better or why one pixel might be better than having three separate pixels. So example. We have this black charcoal teeth whitening kit. So we're going to use two accounts. We're going to have one account with the teeth whitening purchase data. So this is the three people who purchased the teeth whitening kit. So that's one ad account. And another ad account will be using a pixel with the health niche purchase data. So all the buyers that bought every single thing. So with the given data, which pixel do you think will be able to purchase you more buyers? A pixel with only three purchases or a pixel with eight purchases? So in a real case scenario, this will be a pixel data with 50 purchases or a pixel data with 
133 purchases. Now remember, these purchases are from people who are purchasing health-related products. Whereas the teeth whitening kit are purchases for people who care about their teeth. Yes, this might be higher quality, but it's only 3 compared to 8. So a pixel with 3 times the amount of data is way better at finding more people who would purchase this item, even if the 3 times the amount of people are all into teeth products. So I hope you understand that video. If you need any further clarifications, drop it in the comment below and I'll help you guys out. If you found that this video was helpful, drop a like on this video. Remember to join my Facebook mastermind group where our goal is to create the world's best e-com group filled with people who are willing to help each other. I'm not creating a group where no one answers each other's questions. I want a group where everyone's going to be working together in order to bring the whole group up. So once more time, subscribe to this video because you'll be getting golden nuggets that you will be able to find nowhere else. This is a really in-depth explanation of how the Facebook pixel works which no other gurus understand. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.